Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and today I'm really happy to show you AMP, which is Google's Accelerated Mobile Pages project. Now, this project has been getting a lot of attention this month in February 2018, because Google just announced that they're going to spend a lot of time and money developing the integration between WordPress and AMP. Um, WordPress runs a lot of the internet's websites, and AMP will help to make the internet faster and more enjoyable by users. So Google released this presentation, um, and it looks like this, and it's very simple, but I just want to show you a few of the slides where they talk about how performance is user experience. And this is all about the speed of a website and how the speed of a website directly translates to bounce ratios and user conversions. So right here, they talk about 53% of users abandon websites that take longer than three seconds to load. I think we already know that, but that's cool to have a statistic. And that's from and that's statistics from double click analysis. The average mobile web page takes 19 seconds to load on 3G networks. That's a long time. I don't think I will ever wait 19 seconds for a web page to load if I really need something. 60% of mobile connections worldwide are on a 2G connection. I thought that was amazing. Um, we're so used to this 3G and 4G network speed here in the United States that I think we forget that most of the world is not operating on the internet at that speed. Cool. So these are just some interesting facts. So the WordPress ecosystem. So what they did was they took 500,000 URLs, the top Alexa sites, and they analyzed trends, load times, download sizes, performance scores, errors, redirects, and they determined that users dislike slowness and reward speed. So here's where they compare non-WordPress websites to WordPress websites in a number of different metrics. Um, visual speed index, WordPress websites were slower because the lower number means that non-WordPress websites were faster. First interactive, WordPress websites were lacking again. First meaningful paint, imagery, WordPress websites lack. Uh, page load signal. So you can see in each of these metrics, WordPress was lacking. Now WordPress, when it comes to image optimization, performs better than average non-WordPress websites because WordPress optimizes images for you. When you upload an image into WordPress, it does some optimization. Not perfect optimization, but it does do some of it. And you can see that WordPress is pretty good when it comes to image optimization in comparison to non-WordPress websites. Now, in the beginning, two years ago, this graph shows that WordPress was much better at optimizing images than regular websites. And then as time has progressed, both people have gotten better at building non-WordPress websites and optimizing images, and WordPress remaining the same has taken a dip. So they probably, obviously, AMP is, this, this integration with AMP is going to be an answer to some of these, um, some of these, um, problems where they're not really excelling in their development anymore. Maybe now they'll be able to see some improvements. Cool. So one in five image bytes are wasteful on the internet that they don't even need to be in an image. One in five image bytes are wasteful. That's, I think that's so impressive. So here, okay, so cool. So that, that's most of the important slides that I wanted you to see. Right here, though, they do talk about the Lighthouse A11Y scores, which ally scores are basically, it says... Um, accessibility is like no matter who you are, where you are, and on what device you're on, how how available is a website page to you? And um, here you can see that WordPress WordPress does pretty well in comparison to non-WordPress websites and overall worldwide accessibility. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is the AMP Frequently Asked Questions where they have their overview. And the most exciting thing that I think I found on their website is found right here. What is the Accelerated Mobile Pages project? And it's an open source initiative, right, to make the internet faster for all users, which is pretty awesome, especially mobile users. Uh, what are the benefits? Well, speed matters, they say, and instant is the ideal. I love that. And any internet marketing person loves the idea of instantaneous clicks through to content. So that's the ideal, and that's what they're striving for. And then here it just talks a little bit about how the mobile pages work. Accelerated mobile pages basically follow a very specific set of instructions for HTML. 
that make it so that a web developer cannot accidentally do something to the website to make it load slowly. Instead, the website would error out and that these very specific HTML rules need to be followed. And that's what makes it faster. It ends up making websites that look kind of similar too, though. So it also AMP files on a web on a mobile web page also are able to be cached into cloud networks easier so that if your website is AMP enabled, those the content that's being grabbed by hundreds of thousands or millions of users at a time can be cached and can be fed through the cloud rather than just your server of your website always processing those requests. So what I want to show you now is where do you actually get to see AMP on the internet? And you've probably seen it before, but it looks like this. These little symbols right here, those are AMP enabled websites. Okay. So if you've ever done a Google search on your phone, which I know you have, you found these different things that pop up. They usually have pretty high ranking and they're going to have this little um, lightning bolt. And that little lightning bolt means it's an AMP. Um, it's a website that uses AMP technology. So right here, um, I want to do something really quick with you. When you search the internet for French Quarter beignets, right? So let's do that same search on my mobile device and let's see what the difference, let's see uh, the difference, you know, what does it look like? And we go to Google Chrome to incognito window. We search French beignet, French Quarter beignets. And what we see is a very different Google than the desktop version. Here's the desktop version and here is our mobile version. The first thing that comes up is recipes. And then the very next thing we see here is French Quarter Beignets Recipe Paula Dean, and it has the little symbol. So that little symbol means that it is an AMP enabled website. The next link does not have a little symbol. And so I want to very quickly just do a little test with you. Okay. I'm not on Wi-Fi right now. I'm running on my regular mobile network. Let's click the AMP enabled website. It should take us right to a mobile version and very fast. It was, it was instant. It was literally instant. It was literally instant done. You're there. Now let's see what happens when we click on the non AMP website, how fast it is loading. It's loading. It's loading. It's still loading. It, it, we're there. We're looking at content. It's still loading. Yeah, it's still loading, which isn't a problem. I've got really what I came for, but it's still loading. There comes an advertisement right there. Still loading. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to have a header image, right? Is what it's still loading. Wow, maybe not. Okay, well, it loaded that page very slowly, but I have to say most of what I needed was right there, but it was definitely a slower load time. So I just wanted to show you the difference between the actual desktop version of Google and when you're searching here on your mobile device, how different these two things look. And here's another one. Here's another one that's AMP enabled. And you may have never noticed that little symbol on your phone before, but that's what that little symbol means. It's an AMP enabled website. Now, Google is giving websites that are AMP enabled priority in those in those little um, in those little areas in those little areas where there's things like news or there would be something like videos. Um, in that case, there was a section with recipes. So and you can't tell here, but organic search engine optimization is obviously being affected by that because right here is the food networks listing. Right. And right here is the Paula Dean listing and the Food Networks listing is appearing before the Paula Dean's listing. They're both Paula Dean's recipes, which is what's which is what's kind of funny about it. But what I want to do really quick is I want to show you the AMP, what they call AMP Playground, which is just a little toolbox. And this is where you're going to get AMP code. Um, here you can see lots of examples of different um, snippets and stuff. But I want to show you um, you've seen this a thousand times. You've seen this version of a live blog and look let me show you so see this this is an amp live blog this is what they want this is their template for what they think an amp live blog uh, should and could look like let me show you another one is a um a news article okay now i know you guys have seen this before this you have seen this um, layout on your mobile device and just didn't realize you were looking at an AMP website. Now, AMP enabled websites can be WordPress. Um, they can be um, run on a platform that you're very familiar with and you can use certain plugins to enable your site for AMP. Or you can build a website from scratch, from scratch using AMP. And in the future, I think we're going to find a lot more of these websites run on this uh, new AMP technology. So. Thank you so much for coming back. It was my pleasure to show you AMP 
and uh, just give you a little, um, a basic run through of what the Accelerated Mobile Pages project really is. Uh, please check me out on Facebook and LinkedIn, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.